mine. I got blood going to your little fingers. Okay? And, and, and you hear a gunshot outside. From there. Where are we heading? Yeah. I think we ought to... Well, the door's locked. Very good. Hide behind the table, right? But you guys may be able to what? Get the heck out the door, but then I don't, you don't know where you're going. You may want to end up with the shooter. Right? <laughs> but when that happens, you're not want much blood wear in your fingers and hands. You want more wear. Probably in your what? Legs? Your my heart, my lungs, right, my brain, I gotta think what, quick, what am I gonna do, okay? So look what nature does, this is just unbelievable. There is a connection between an arterial and a venule. See this direct route that I'm pointing to? And in the beginning, it's called a met arterial. You know why? Because this connection has muscle in it. And then the rest of it is nothing. It has no muscle. It's just like a mid vein. It's called the thoroughfare channel. What's the purpose of a med arterial and thoroughfare channels? You got millions of them. If all the precapillary think is closed, then the blood's going to go into the what? Med arterial, thoroughfare channel, and you're going to shunt the blood where? from the arterial to the vein quicker. So you can then the vein, the venule can what? Send the blood to the vein, send it back to the heart, and send the blood to where it needs it. Isn't that cool? It's a, it's a way of what? Shunting blood between arterial and venule quicker than if the blood has to go through the capillaries. Remember, if it goes through the capillaries, it's not going to go through fast. It's going to do... But if I send it through the thoroughfare channel, it's just what? Go straight. Yes? So are capillaries anastomosis? Well, we don't call them an anastomosis. Anastomosis are served, that term, for a direct connection between an artery and an artery, a vein and a vein, and an artery and a vein. Nothing. Notice no arterial <laughs> tumors. Okay? Good question. So here, look at the bottom picture. Oh, something happened. We want now this is raw, it's to send some blood to the capillaries. Remember, you can't shut it down completely, otherwise the tissue would die, right? But the point they're making in the lower diagram, they're pretending all these free capillary sphincters are closed. Now the blood has no choice but to what? Go in this neck level. Isn't nature amazing? Every time I teach this, I just go, how did this evolve? You know, it's like this is happening in not thousands, not hundreds of thousands, 